So now we've taken our exponents away from 1 over something and now put a different number in the numerator. What that does is this converts this into a two-step question. So with a, we still need to look at what kind of root this is. There's a 2 on the bottom of that fraction, so it's a square root. But it's a square root of 0 0.04 cubed. Why cubed? Because there's a 3 on the top of the fraction. So what is the square root of 0 0.04? Let's 0 0.2. But now we have to cube that, and this is the point where the calculator might come in handy. Gives us 0 0.008. B, we've got a 3 on the bottom, so we're dealing with a cube root of 27. That gets raised to the power of 4. Cube root of 27 is 3, and 3 to the power of 4 is 81. In C, we're not actually given the fraction exponent. We're given it as a decimal, so we do need to convert it into a fraction first. 0.4 is 4 tenths, but 10 is not a very easy number with roots. We have to break down 10 times. We can reduce that 4 tenths to 2 fifths. So it's actually negative 32 to the 2 fifths. Now we can convert that into a root. It's a fifth root of negative 32. That becomes squared. Fifth root of negative 32. Well, the fifth root of 32 is 2, so the fifth root of negative 32 is negative 2. That's still squared. Gives us 4. We've got to do the same thing on D. Just copy out the question again. 1.8 to the power of 1.4. 1.4, 14 over 10, also reduces to 7 over 5. This now becomes a fifth root again of 1.8 power of 7. We can't actually find the fifth root of 1.8, so this is the point where we need to pull in a calculator. But we don't have a fifth root button on a calculator, so we actually need to convert this back and go at it from the original question. Sometimes we will have to do this if the root is untakeable. So we take 1.8 in the calculator, power of 1.4 and gives us, as we should expect, a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. If we take that to two decimal places, it's 2.28. So, but how's the real question, when do I know just to type it in a calculator and when don't I? Well, once you convert it into the root, like we did here, if you can take that root, you need to do it by hand. If you can't, like we got in question D, then you can go back to the calculator.